Hi guys, welcome back for today's video and it's been a while, I know. This is the reason why I want to give you some kind of live update in this video. So you're going to see some pores in the background, um, nothing spectacular, just what I usually do. And I'm going to talk about some other topics um, in the video itself. So not really a tutorial or what did I do to achieve the effect that I did. Um, you probably can see everything that I did here. As you have noticed, it has become a bit calm on my channel. And I did postpone making this video for several weeks now because I wanted to get some things straight in my head and wanted to know if this is really something I wanted um, to make a video about. But yeah, that's, that's basically it. Background story is that I started doubting my YouTube channel quite a while ago. So when I started this channel a couple of years ago, my ultimate goal was to be, well, an artist, which I kind of am, I think. But I wanted to get the chance to get a living from it which I hoped YouTube was a good platform to show my artworks, to get connections and all the stuff that you basically hope to get. <laughs> um, I really put a lot of effort into it and time investment and everything that comes along with being a YouTube um, influencer, if you want to call it like that. So bottom line, I never really got lucky having a viral video, so a video that is clicked several thousand million times whatsoever. So I actually only have two videos which are performing pretty well, but still far below anything that some other fellow artists um, have achieved over time. So this was kind of a mental struggle for me for quite a while now, and when I put the time investment and the money output, which YouTube is going to pay for the adverts and stuff. Um, when I compare both, it's just not in relation. On top it comes that the artwork that I'm producing are not going to be sold that easily, because the Germans do not really buy artwork that often, at least not from me, I guess. And everything when it comes to shipping outside of Germany or Europe, um, shipping costs are going to be a bit more on the pricey side. And thanks to Corona, not even shipping is possible at all. So this came to the conclusion that I thought about how my channel is going to become in the future, if I continue after all, or if I just stop there as it is. Um, don't get me wrong, I, I love every comment that you guys sent me, and it's, it's really fun making the videos and explaining things and teaching. And I think teaching is something that I really like doing. So I'm not that kind of guy that makes a poor talking about random stuff happening to whatsoever or talking about some baking recipes or stuff, which some other artists just do and upload it as it is. I never really felt this was something I felt comfortable with, so I used an extra amount of time editing the videos, making the voiceover, um, reacting to comments and explaining things as good as I can to help everyone out who is probably starting with the pouring itself or has some struggles and questions whatsoever. So it was quite a time investment. But I've noticed so many artists that started at the same point or started later have outnumbered and outrun me. So this it's just, it's, it's just life, so I'm not blaming anyone except for myself, perhaps. Or oh, YouTube, let's, let's blame YouTube. <laughs> um, yeah, but that's the point. So, of course, I really like the pouring itself, and I love the resin artworks, but after a while, it just starts getting repetitive. You know, I can make the videos, I can explain what I do, but bottom line, it oftentimes is just the same. And to be honest, just between the two of us, the most important factor is still luck. So you can make the mixture exactly as the artist did. You can use the same colors, the same mixtures, the same whatsoever, the same canvas, amounts of color, you can make a science out of it. And even 
if you matched it as good as humanly possible, the result will still be a completely different one. The acrylic pouring itself is just unpredictable and yeah, a good portion of it is just luck. Why I say that? Because it is. <laughs> I've made uncountable pours over the last years and even now after all the knowledge that I've gathered, about a third of all pours that I do is still not working out. So perhaps even more than a third, I, I don't know. So luck is very important. And for me, making these pours, yeah, it started feeling repetitive and it's not as fun anymore as it used to be because, well, it is fun, don't get me wrong. I really like the instant satisfaction or instant crushing your heart, <laughs> whatever your outcome is. But for me personally, it is not really meaning any improvement. So I'm not going to grow as an artist on making more and more pours. You know what I mean? So even the results might end up being pretty, it doesn't improve my skills. And this is something I wanted to strive for, I would say. So my YouTube channel started out as a realism channel. And I hopped on the pouring and resin trend when it became famous on YouTube. So I got some more views and stuff. And I mostly focused on this kind of art form from then on. But my heart never stopped beating for the realism. And I really, really want to focus more on the realism itself. So what is my YouTube channel going to become? I have no clue. <laughs> um, I really want to go deeper into oil painting, drawing, sketching, so these kind of, of stuff. Because I want to improve myself, I have some artists that I'm looking up to and I really want to improve my own skills to one day match their skills. And this really needs a lot of time, practice, training and a good portion of focus. In addition to that, over the last weeks perhaps even month, I didn't feel overly creative myself. So I think I've reached a point where I needed to step down a bit to focus more on myself, perhaps a bit on my own health and well-being. <laughs> so I struggle a bit with uh, back issues and need to yeah, build up some muscles and uh, go onto the fitness road, I guess. <laughs> so. Yeah, this is something I have been focusing on um, the last weeks, month, uh, more than did the years before. I want to get my back back in shape. And yeah, this is actually something I wanted to share with you so that you do not wonder why I don't post videos that often or if something happens to me, to us. Um, no, health-wise everything is um, quite okay. So no corona hit us, <laughs> all good. Um, yeah, but I just wanted to be a bit more focused on myself, on my um, health, not stressing me out too much about making the videos and uploading two or three videos a, a week, which is a really time consuming and stressful thing. Having in mind that this is not my full time job, but more like a thing I do in the afternoons and the weekends. So many of you already did know that, so especially those who are a bit closer to me and who text me all the time. But I just wanted to put it out there that this is the reason why not so many videos were coming um, recently. So I will make the videos of course, some more will come in the future, but I will not put any time schedule out there. So please don't unfollow, <laughs> um, more videos are to come. They might be more on the realism side, but as I want to remain a teaching channel, I would really value any questions that you might have. So I really like these Q&A videos. They mean a lot to me. So if you send me some cues, I can make a video about the ACE. And yeah, just give you the information that you probably are looking for on a shorter and, and crisper way, perhaps. For these Q&A videos, I put myself in front of the camera, answer the questions, and that's everything that I can do there, and you have your answer, and you can go ahead. And if I make a video about things with an art project, it everything, um, yeah, it, it's a bigger bubble that I have to create, and it takes more time, and, you know, 
time is the thing that is really really short on my end at the moment so yeah this was a look into my soul i would say <laughs> let me know your thoughts how have you been the last weeks month i hope you all have been good and life was good to you as well To sum everything up, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment under my videos and I will get back to you in a separate video or just by texting you the answer by message. <laughs> you can follow me on Instagram. I'm not really that active there, but it's easier to text and message there. And I will sometimes, when I'm outside in the nature, post some yeah, stories there that you can see what I'm doing. Just yesterday I was on a really, really long kayaking hike. It was about 20 kilometers. It was the longest that I've ever done. Everything is hurting today, so I make a calm day. Perhaps some jogging later today. Not, not really sure yet. But yeah, enough of rambling. I really hope you enjoyed watching the video and the art projects that I showed you in the background, that you have seen in the background. Um, hope you liked the results. I really, really did. Mixtures, colors, everything that you've seen there is just exactly the same as I usually do it. So there was nothing special, hidden, fancy in there. So yeah, that's basically everything that I had to say. It was a bit weird talking that openly about plans in my head, which I'm not really certain about. <laughs> um, Yeah, I would love to hear your thoughts about things that I've said. And if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so far. Again, the video output will be a bit slower, but there are already something around 350 videos there. So if you want, have a look. <laughs> So, yeah, thanks for your time, thanks for listening, and see you soon, guys. Love ya. Bye-bye.